Okay, the second construction we're going to do is sector area. So you're going to go back to GeoGebra, select Geometry, and in step one, draw a circle with the circle tool. Points A and B. We want to measure the area of this circle. To do that, you go under More Tools. The Area Tool is right here. You click on this, then you got to click on points A and B. And it'll say the area of your circle. And it says, for me, 32.2. I'm going to try to change my area by grabbing point B and moving it. And I'm going to try to get it to a nice number. I'm going to try to make the area of the circle exactly 50. I guess I'm only going to get 49.9. If you can get exactly 50, that's great. If not, 49.9 will do. Then I go back to using the arrow tool. And I don't want my circle to change sizes, so I'm going to right-click on both these points. Right-click on point A and select Fix Object. Right-click on point B and select Fix Object. So now I cannot move points A and B, so my circle is going to stay the same size. <clears throat> to create a sector, we need another point on the circle. So I'm going to go back and select another point, click somewhere on the circle to make a point. Now I have points uh, B and C on the circle, point A is the center. To draw a sector, you're going to come down to where it's, the tool will say circles, and the sector tool is this one. To use this tool, you have to click on the center first, and then your two points. And now we have a little sector. You can, one of the points will move so you can change the size of your sector. Point C, you should be able to move and make your sector bigger or smaller like this. And when we talk about a sector, we want to know the measure of this angle right here in the middle. So we'll go to the angle, angle measurement tool right over here on the left. And you got to click the points in order, B, A, C. So now as I move point C around, the angle measure is going to change. I get all the way around almost the full circle. It's going to be really close to. Oh, once we get over 180, it's just going down again. That's all right. We won't have to correct that. All right, but I want to measure the area of this sector. To measure the area of the sector, I'm going to go back and select the area tool again. And I can just click in the middle of the sector, and the area of the sector shows up right there. So now as I make point C really small, the or if I make the angle really small, the area of the sector gets really small compared to the area of the whole circle. As I move it around the circle, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. As I get almost all the way around, the area of the sector will almost match the area of the circle, circle until you actually hit it, and it starts over at zero. Now, to make this work, to see this is a clear animation, we're going to right-click on point C. That's Alt-click on the Chromebook. And click on Animation. That will move point C around the screen. And we can see how the area of the sector gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it approaches the size of the entire circle and then starts over. When you've completed this, call your teacher over to check.